Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your MacBook Air to a projector. It's pretty simple so let's just get started. So for this video we're going to be connecting our MacBook to the projector using HDMI. So if you look on the back or the side of your projector, unless you have a really old one, you should see an HDMI input. But on the MacBook Air there is no HDMI input, so to be able to connect an HDMI cable we're going to need an adapter. The one that I recommend is a USB-C to HDMI adapter. This one is by a brand called Anchor. They make some really good USB-C chargers and adapters. This one displays up to 4K at 60 FPS. So if you want to pick this one up, I'll leave a link to it on their website at the top of the description. So what you'll want to do is plug an HDMI cable into your projector, then plug the other end into the adapter, and then plug the adapter into your Mac in the USB-C port. Once you have everything connected, go ahead and turn on your projector. Your projector may already automatically change to display your MacBook, but if not, you'll have to change your input manually. So to do that, you can either click on the input or the source button that is on your projector and then change it to HDMI. Or like me, you can go to your projector's home screen and then come over to the side here and select HDMI. All right, so here I am now on my MacBook, and when you connect it for the first time, you may see a screen like this pop up. From here, you can choose exactly what you want to display on the projector. So the first option here is entire screen, so that's just going to be exactly what's on your MacBook screen here. You have window or app, which is going to be basically a specific window or app that you choose. Those two are pretty self-explanatory. But the third option here is extended display, and what that's going to do is treat your projector like a second separate monitor. So just go ahead and pick whatever one works best for your purposes. For this video, I'm going to pick extended display just so I can show it off and show exactly how to set it up and use it. All right, so now that I pick extended display, my projector is now going to act like a second monitor and it's going to show something completely different than what's on my main display. Right now, the projector is to the left of my main display. So if I go and drag Safari over, it's kind of hard to see with my setup, but you can see it moving over to my projector. If you want to change the orientation and location of your displays, what you want to do is come to the top and either click on the screen mirroring icon or click on the control panel icon and then come down and click on display settings. Then click on arrange. And now here you can go ahead and drag your two displays around and have them orientated exactly how you want. If you ever want to stop extending or you want to change what's being displayed, come to the top and click on screen mirroring again and then either click on change or you can click on stop extending. So that's pretty much it. If this video ended up helping you, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated.